Welcome to Scott Cooks. This is the video you've been waiting for. Bubba Burgers versus Beyond Burger. I've been waiting for this one myself. Uh, I have never tried these. Uh, we did do another plant-based video earlier with the sausage. Yeah, go back and watch that one. Not so great. Let's uh, hope for better things. Stay tuned. Okay, what I'm going to be doing is cooking a Bubba Burger. This one happens to be the cheeseburger version. And a Beyond Burger at the same time in the Ninja Foodi. I will be using the basket and we will be using air crisp mode. We'll do them side by side. I uh, don't know how long these are supposed to cook, so I know these are go for about 20 minutes on 390. So um, we'll just see how long this one goes till it's ready. I don't know much about these, but here's what here's the rules. They're both frozen. They're both going to cook approximately the same amount of time, and we cannot compare the, the flavor, obviously, but we can compare how do they look, how do they feel, what is the texture, things like that. Uh, keep in mind, guys, this is not a veggie burger. Please go do your own research on these. This is not a veggie burger, not even close to a veg veggie burger. Uh, they have done a tremendous amount of research and have gone down to the cellular level of certain plants to simulate meat. That's about all I'm going to say. I'm not an expert. <laughs> Let's get started. For the rest of this video, the Bubba Burger will always be on the left. The Beyond Burger will always be on the right. And here they are frozen right out of the package. And so first off, do they look like meat? Well, you know what a Bubba Burger looks like? Frozen patty is my favorite hamburger on earth. In fact, this is the only hamburger I buy, probably for the last 10 years. Bubba Burger, uh, the uh, Beyond Burger, and I have to tell you, it looks like, looks like meat. It really does. I'm going to give it a smell. It's frozen. It shouldn't smell like anything. It does have a tiny little odor. Bubba Burger doesn't have any odor. It smells like something. It's not bad. I don't know what it smells like. I never smell anything like that. Let's get it in the foodie. And normally, I would not even bother spraying the basket, the nonstick basket, with anything. But this Beyond Burger uh, is not meat. And there is no fat, per se, in it. It's fake fat. Uh, so I'm going to be just hit it real quick with a little, little of this. That, that'll do it. All right, like I said, Bubba Burger on the left, Beyond Burger on the right. Here we go. All right, we're going to do this in two stages just so we can check it. So we're going to do air crisp. We're going to take the default at 390, and we're going to set this to 10 minutes. Now we're actually going to cook these for 20 minutes, but at 10 minutes, we're going to open it up, check them out, flip them, and do the next 10. Now, I already know a Bubba Burger will cook at 390 air crisp in uh, 18 to 20 minutes. I already know that. I've cooked a million of them. I don't know what's going on with this other thing. Let's find out. This is exciting. Okay, that was a 10 minute mark and I won't lie to you, I got some weird smells coming out of the foodie. Uh, it's not a bad smell. It's not the Bubba Burger. <laughs> So it's that Beyond Burger, and it has a little bit of odor to it. Uh, let's let's crank it up and see what we got here. First off, we still got a little blood coming out of the Bubba Burger. I knew that. That needs another 10 minutes. That is looking like meat. Let me get my hand out of the way. So the first thing we want to do, see what temperature that thing is. So we just want to slightly go in so we don't hit the thing, the basket. 80, 90... 100. Just gonna let this run up real quick, guys. I'm sorry. Give me a second. It's supposed to be 165. All right, we're slowing down at 125. It'll probably get to 130. 130. Yeah, it'll probably get to 140 if I let it sit there long enough. So that's not bad. That's not bad. But it's not ready either. 
let's flip them. Now I normally flip with, with my tongs. See the Bubba Burger doing his thing. I normally flip with my tongs, so this is another test basically of consistency texture-wise. Can I pick this thing up with the tongs? Yeah. It's not breaking. Well, that's pretty good. That's good. And uh, let's get the Bubba Burger flipped. All right, I know the Bubba Burger needs another 10 minutes. So on Aircrest 390 time 10, go. But I don't think the Beyond Burger is going to need 10 more minutes. So at five minutes, we're going to recheck everything again. At five minutes, we'll recheck it. Right, there's another five minutes. And I think as we can see, now that is very interesting. Look at that. Did you see that? on the Beyond Burger. That was bubbly up like fat just over here, just like on that one. Now that is pretty impressive that they did that. They really they really got this down, guys. I hope it tastes good. Um, I'm gonna could probably go ahead and say that the Beyond Burger is finished. That was a total of 15 minutes, Air Crisp 390. I'm gonna keep the Bubba Burger rolling for the next five. And let's check the temperature on this Beyond Burger real quick. Sorry, I got the camera in a weird angle, I'm sorry. But I just wanted to get this done quick before it cools any. I'm not sure you guys can see that. All right, well, we're there. <laughs> and I dropped it. Uh, but we are there temperature-wise, so there you go. We'll do a taste test in a minute. All right, here goes the review part. First off, does it look like meat? Yes, it does. It looks almost exactly like meat. Is it cut like meat? Absolutely. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That, guys, looks like a hamburger. Unbelievable. They really got this down. All right. I'm going to eat this. Wish me luck. Okay. Well, it's not a hamburger. I didn't expect it to be. Far better than that other brand of that sausage I did in the other video. Far and beyond. I guess that's why they call it beyond, huh? I'll tell you what. Let me eat another piece. That's good. That is really good. It's not meat. It's not beef. It has the right texture. It has the right look. That's about as close as you can get, guys. I'm pretty impressed. Well, there's your side-by-side. -side. You got your good old greasy, fatty Bubba Burger over here. I don't need to taste test that. I've had a filled bazillion of these. And uh, a little unfair because this one has cheese in it, but just ignore the cheese. And you can see the inside of the two. And I'm going to tell you what, guys. Slight color difference, but that is really close. Flavor-wise, very good. I would have, I'm going to have no problem eating that tonight for dinner. Uh, I love my Bubba Burgers. But if for some reason you need an alternative to meat, there you go. Highly recommend that one. Beyond Burger. Give it about a 7 out of 10. Uh, 390 Air Crisp Ninja Foodi, 15 minutes versus Bubba Burger Air Crisp 390, 50, uh, 20 minutes. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Leave me some comments. Hit that like button for me. Hit the bell for notifications. Leave me some comments. I don't know if I said that, but leave me some comments. I love them. Try to answer everybody. Check the description box for the Patreon links. I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope you try it.